In this morning's Money Watch, home foreclosures. A new report says there was a record number in the first quarter of this year. The foreclosure rate surged 35% over last year. One in every 138 homes received a notice. And as always, scam artists are ready to take advantage of vulnerable people. CBS News business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis is here with ways to protect yourself. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. So there are these foreclosure relief scams. What are they? Spreading like wildfire. They are spreading like wildfire. People preying on innocent individuals whose homes are in foreclosure. They cost the average person caught up in them $3,000, but they can also cost you your entire home. Mm. In Nevada alone, the government is looking into 160 67 companies that have received these issues that, right. that they've been told about. All right, let's talk about some of the different kinds of scams. One of them is called the Phantom Help Scam. What is that? Phantom Help is where uh, a specialist will call you up and tell you if you pay them a lot of money, some outrageous level of fee, they'll help you out by filling out paperwork. The reality is you can do this paperwork yourself mm. and they're not adding any value. They're just collecting the fee. All right, there's another one called the bailout or rent to own scam. What is that one? This one's horrible. They'll convince you to sign the deed of your home over right. and in return they're telling you that you'll pay rent and essentially eventually own the home mm -hmm. which is not the case it will not happen they will own your home wow here's another one bait and switch which has been used in all kinds of scams for lots of years but explain it again yeah you have to watch out for this one they will tell you that you are signing documents to get yourself up to speed on your mortgage payments instead you are signing the deed of your home over they will own it and in most cases you won't even know that you've been scammed wow. and until you're evicted. If if you if you're you're vulnerable in the first place and you're looking for ways out, what are the red flags you should be absolutely aware of? A company that calls itself a mortgage consultant, Harry, in many cases is a scam artist. Also, if they're advertising with flyers or coming door to door, mm -hmm. many of these companies are looking at who's foreclosed and they come and prey on the very individuals who need help the most. Also, if they ask you for an upfront payment that sounds like an outrageous amount of money or even an upfront payment of any amount, be mindful, be wary. On top of that, you also want to make sure that anyone who tells you to make payments to them, mm. that you watch out for them. And lastly, do not transfer your deed. Don't this is the, the worst deed. of all. If you feel like you've been victimized by something like that or knows that somebody is trying to get your money, what can you do? What's your recourse? The best thing you want to do right off the bat is file a police report. Let the local police know what's going on. They have lists of these individuals and they can update those lists with your information. Mm. You also want to contact the attorney general's office and call your lender. Get information directly from the horse's mouth, so All to speak. Right. Rebecca Jarvis, thank you as always. Appreciate it. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.